welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to do is a quick video showing you how to avoid resin bubbles and it is a really problematic thing if you've got a thick resin like an art resin and you're mixing that up and you want to do a small casting with it that you can get mixed bubbles in it. So this is my method or ways of avoiding my resin being bubbly. Now, one of the first things that you're going to need is you're going to have to make sure that your resin is at the right temperature before you even pour it. Because if it's cold in any shape, way or form, then it is going to be really thick and viscous and it's going to be difficult to mix. So I would strongly suggest if it's cold in where you're working and where you've been storing your resin, that you warm it up by putting it in a bar of warm water for five or ten minutes and that'll warm it through to mix it up. Now I keep my studio at that fairly decent temperature all the time so my resin should be fine to be able to pour now. The other thing is make sure that you use the right measurements. I always put the part A in first and then the part B on top of that. Now I'm going to show you how I mix it and what I do with it once it's mixed before I use it to cast with. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So I'm mixing up my resin here. I've put my part A in and now I'm adding my part B. And this is a 100 to a 50 mix, so I only needed to have half the amount of part B as I did with the part A. And it is quite a nice thick resin as well. Thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. And if you'd like to become a member of this channel, the link for that is in the description below. And there are lots of different perks available. So when stirring the resin, it's important to stir it slowly at about this speed. And I very rarely take the stick off the bottom as well. And I make sure that I go around the whole of the bottom to ensure that there is no bits stuck there of part A that isn't mixed in with part B. I also go round and scrape all the sides slowly as well, again keeping that stick on the bottom. Now a lot of people say well wooden sticks will create bubbles but I just don't find that to be the case and also I use these sticks over and over again so they're well saturated with resin. It's the slow stirring and ensuring that you're mixing it thoroughly that is really important and you can see that this isn't mixed yet by that colour. You can also see that I've not added in any bubbles to this and I've kept it nice and clear through this slow stirring of the resin. I also make sure that I scrape the stick as well as I'm doing it. I did that a little bit earlier and I'm doing that now here. So in case you've got any part A or part B stuck to that stick that isn't going to mix in and that way you get a really good mix. And as you can see, there are some bubbles, but very few bubbles. And this is where you wanna get. And now I will leave this for about five minutes to degas. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee to say thank you for this video or any of my videos and help support this channel and get your name on my coffee board, the link for that is in the description below, along with the link to everything I've used today. So now when I'm casting, what I'm doing is I'm pouring this in a thin stream and I'm pouring it slowly against the side of the silicon mould because I find that that also helps to prevent introducing any additional bubbles. As you can see this is nearly clear now and this hasn't been any, anything other than what you've seen me do here. I'll then leave this for a couple of minutes, go over it with my long neck lighter, never a torch because you don't want to burn your mould. And then I'll leave it again for about another five minutes and allow any of those bubbles that are in there to come up to the top and burn them off. Well, this is all cured up now, so it'll be interesting to see what it looks like. From here, it looks like it's nice and clear, which is great. That's what we want. And as you can see, we have got a lovely clear casting. And there was no jiggery-pokery or anything done with this. This is genuinely a casting done exactly how you would do it. Mixing it, using the same resin, and it does give you a really good, clear casting. Now, if you follow the simple rules that I said, then you will have castings like this every time. And the really important thing is to make sure that your resin isn't too cold when you mix it because if when you mix it you're going to get lots of bubbles if it's a cold really thick resin and if you do that and mix it slowly without lifting your stick out without doing all that sort of thing then you are going to get a great result something that is lovely and clear like this to show you how nice and clear it is 
Look at that. Well, I hope you found this really useful. If you have, please boop that thumbs up. It really does help my video to get out there. And leave me a comment letting me know if you found this useful. If you'd like to buy me a coffee and get your name on my coffee board for next month uh, as a thank you for helping you do some clear casting, then the link for that is in the description below, along with the link for everything that I've used today. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.